I want to talk a little bit about the anxiety or fear people often have about walking into a gym for the first time and trying to get started. Obviously, some of that is about not being sure what to do, uh, but some of it is about the concern that we will be scrutinized by other people, made fun of, mocked, looked at funny, any of those things. I was bullied a fair amount as a child and teenager, and I have no idea if it was more or less than what other people go through. I just know that it was more than enough for me. And into my 20s and 30s, I was still anxious about the possibility of harassment or bullying or even just laughter directed my way. Um, and because that was a serious concern for me, because I was still healing from whatever it was that I had been through, I held myself back from a number of things that I otherwise would have wanted to do, such as going to gyms. But I haven't been a teenager in 40 years now, and I've managed to acquire some additional life experience that puts a lot of this in a different perspective. I know very well that we can never just cut and paste our personal experience and perspective on somebody else's day and immediately cure anything that's going on for them. But I think I'll share it anyway, just in case it helps. My observation over the years is that people who want to judge or bully or mock others in gyms are coming from a couple of different, but possibly related places, certainly things that overlap. These aren't exclusive categories. One is uh, they're usually not very mature. And that could be chronological age. We all know how common it is for kids and teenagers to take it out on other kids and teenagers. Uh, but it's often also a sign of their immaturity or lack of experience in gyms themselves. People in gyms who are seriously trying to get their own workout done don't have time to be judging other people. The big obvious caveat to that being that people who are <laughs> attracted to another person have plenty of time to get it in their way in gyms. Um, and that is a definite problem that needs to continue be, to be addressed, okay? But in general, people who are focusing on themselves don't have time to worry about others. And if someone is serious about the gym and really putting time into it, it's not worth their while to be judging other people. It just, it has no place in their life. Which is to say that somebody judging you in the gym doesn't, probably doesn't know nearly as much about what's going on as they think they do. Now, that doesn't make it easy to deal with whatever shade they are throwing. But it sometimes helps to recognize that their bullshit really is their bullshit and not a universal truth about how well you're doing in the gym at being yourself. So then the related but not identical issue is that some people in gyms, even if they have lots of experience, are still insecure about something. And the reason that they're judging somebody else has a lot to do with their memory, whether they're conscious of it or not, of being the person with lower skills and their self-criticism about having been that person who didn't know what they were doing and their desire to point at somebody else because they're still looking over their own shoulder, worrying about whether anybody can tell that they don't know as much or aren't as fit or strong or competitive as they think we all should be. And that insecurity is a factor that I've seen continue to affect even some people who are fairly serious personal trainers with a lot of skills. And it's unfortunate when I see them give into it. Uh, most of them, if they have become a personal trainer, are wise enough not to spread that around and turn off potential clients but you'll see personal trainers who 
certainly focus only on advanced clients because dealing with the general population and having to confront the fact that we don't all come factory installed with high levels of skill or high levels of strength and that all of us are on a path which requires personal commitment and sacrifice is tough for them to deal with. Now, it's, it's never my style to tell people that we shouldn't feel our feelings. It's just not the way I operate. It's never worked for me to pretend that I'm not feeling something. So if you're listening to all of this and still feeling like, yeah, but the gym is scary, I hear you. And I think you should take stock of that feeling and deal with it. Um, and dealing with it may mean not going to gyms. But rather than tell you not to feel your feelings, I just want to give you a couple of other things to think and feel about. One thing is that there are a lot of people in gyms who likewise remember being the person who didn't know what they were doing or didn't feel confidence. But because they were able to work through that anxiety, they experienced success. And many people in gyms will see the gym newcomer and feel great pride for them because their own success has taught them how valuable it is to take on those challenges and to experience success for oneself. They may not talk to you about that because they may understand that you're not ready to be talked to in the gym by anybody that you may not want somebody else in your business, but they may be silently cheering you on from across the way. It's actually very, very common for people in gyms to love seeing newcomers there because they feel excitement for the fact that you're on a journey that they know well for themselves, that they understand how transformative in a positive way it can be, not just in terms of strength, or capability or overall health, although those things matter, but also in developing a feeling of pride or confidence about coming from a starting point where we didn't know what we were doing and moving on to be able to achieve possibly much more than we ever expected. So that's one thing to understand about gyms if you go into them is that your worry about people judging you isn't necessarily wrong, but it may be much less common than you believe. And there may be a lot of people silently on your side. And of course, the other thing is that gyms are not the only place or method for working on your own health and wellness. They never will be. And it's okay if you just don't want to face gyms to find other ways of tackling your own well-being. You always have that option. And so if you're just the person who doesn't want to be in that environment, don't go. That's okay. You're still worth it. And it's worth finding other ways to do something beneficial for yourself in terms of overall health or wellness, stamina, speed, strength, any of the various things that go into physical culture. It's just good. So it's okay. 